Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's Ragit and welcome to update 6.8. Now this update introduces something which has probably been quite needed. An upgrade to the Toto core system which has so far been slightly underwhelming. As you are probably familiar, the Toto has introduced an update 6.0, an exciting flurry of spanners and materials and bases and stuff. But the thing is, is that when you created the bases, they were very rarely actually incredibly useful. Their effects weren't very strong and you only made a sort of minor improvement to your base health. But now, things have changed, so they're even better. So over the past couple of weeks, I should think, after 6.8 was released in the JP version, I've been just farming materials like absolute mad, using energy that I have every day to do certain stages, and I have a minimum of 50 of every item, which is great news, and five Toto engineers, because every single base can now be upgraded to level 20, double what it was before, at level 10. So this should actually be able to make a difference, which is great, really. So if we go on to a Toto here, you can see that things have changed. And it looks like for the upgrade above level 10, it goes back to the same sort of difficulty of upgrading sort of, i.e. number of engineers and number of materials as your level 1 to 2 or 0 to 1 cannon. So we can enhance the base all the way to level 20, even in more health, enhance the slow beam, the Iron Wall, the Thunderbolt, or the Water Blast base. Now, I intend to just do as much as I can. So, for now, what I'm going to do is do one upgrade to the Enhanced base, so we get a little bit more health. Now, because I play this game ethically and properly, but still want to just show the sort of update, what I'm going to be doing is using my catamins, because, well, I, I just haven't really done that, and I probably could. I'm gonna use four of my three hour catamans because I've got the most of those. And there you go, the project time has been shortened so far that Atoto has finished his expedition. What have you got for us, my friend? Well, he's got a base enhancement done for us, which is great news. Thank you for that, Atoto. So now our base is level 11. We've turned it up to 11, as it were. And I think what I might do now is upgrade my slow beam. Here he is back again. It feels weird sort of draining myself of my items, seeming as well I've never really done that before because I've never had cause to, but I guess now that it's the update, I do want to enhance things quickly. So our slow beam is now level 11 as well. And seeming as I have plenty of items, although that is actually quite steep. Maybe I was a little bit hasty in the whole items thing. They never had meteorites this early on in the upgrades towards level 10. But still, I do have plenty of meteorites. I've been at Sunset's Howl a lot farming that, so that's still fine. Still have a few upgrades left to do. I'm going to use some Catamon C's this time, ring out the big boys, and now the expedition is over! A Toto, what do you have for us? Well, you have a slightly enhanced slow beam, that's just to be expected. And now, actually, that would give me two to zero engineers, so by the time he gets to level 13, he's already using two engineers again. So, I might lay off that and upgrade me enhanced base a little bit more, so I've got a little bit more health on my base. <laughs> And because that would require two engineers as well, I'm gonna use my engineer for one more thing. I could go Iron Wall, Thunderbolt, or Water Blast Base. Now, honestly, I'm, I'm not too sure, and I don't think it really matters. So I think what I'm gonna do is go for whatever uses up the most coal. I'm gonna go for a Thunderbolt. And seeming as I have no engineers left, I'm gonna leave a Toto B and go to Gamma Toto instead, and I wish him to return because of course Gamma Toto Expeditions is how you get a Toto Helpers, but it's quite a rare chance to get them, and through all my research, I can't find whether your expedition length actually changes your chance or not, and I've asked people, and they're not entirely sure either, so I don't know. So what I'm gonna do as a little experiment is send Gamatoto off on one hour expeditions. That way I can use up some of my one hour catamins 
and see if we can get some helpers. I think it's time for a montage. <laughs> Look at that, an intern. Well, I guess then, although it has been quite a few expeditions, it might well be the same chance whatever expedition you do, because I mean, it's not exactly common when you're doing other types of expedition. The wiki itself has a 5% chance to get a helper, and it doesn't say that that changes, so maybe it doesn't. Anyway, let's send you to the Atoto Corp. Goodbye, my friend. Alrighty. Right, so what I've done is speed up the project for that lightning-y thing. Thunderbolt, that's the one. Because with our one helper, I'm gonna upgrade Water Blast to give that a little bit of an upgrade. And the reason for that is Siege of Hippo's on. I've got five minutes left to do it. So what I'm gonna do is just shorten this expedition a bit more, use up some of the catamins, and now I have a level 11 Water Blast. And I'm going to edit my base so that I actually have the Water Blast with me. And I'm gonna take that into Siege of Hippo. Right, okay. Here we are then, get rid of those cat combos. And at the moment, our base, which I believe, if I remember correctly, oh, that's a fast manic line, is level 12, has 164,000 health. Which is, is pretty good. I think that might last for a small while. I mean, I guess it depends what it's being attacked by. If it's being attacked by a cyclone, it's still probably going to die almost instantly. But other things, which do less damage per second, are going to, you know, allow you to do that sort of thing where it's hitting the base and not you. And then you hit it and kill it and all those fancy strats. And that should work nicely. And, uh, yeah, that's my water blast cannon. Obviously not doing anything to the Zoopmile Hippo because we already killed it. But... We can go into this once more and, and utilize it a little bit better. Right, now we can unleash the water blast and watch it rain down upon the super metal hippo. So that's not too bad because I guess that is slightly over 20% of its total health as damage done by cat cannon. And so I guess especially with the water blast, upgrading that is gonna be useful for those big health metal enemies, like, I don't know, for example, Metal Cyclone. Maybe it'll work on floor 38 if you can keep yourself going that long. I'm not entirely sure what would be the best way to use it, but yeah. I think being able to double the level of these things is definitely going to help. It's like at the start of the game, I remember doing that on the beginner account where you got level 10 cats, and then you can get them to level 20. They're doing that now, but with a Toto basis. So maybe they might actually gain a sort of reign of significance which I'd love, because they've introduced them. It's only fair that they have a valuable effect on the game. So, obviously, this is going to be something that develops over time. I can't have my level 20 bases instantly, because I actually play the game properly. But over time, I will get my bases better, and maybe I'll do a video when I've got them maxed, and see what sort of capabilities they have. But at the moment, that 6.8 introduction of level 20 Atoto bases. Make sure you get your materials, your engineers, and get upgrading. And on that note, I have something to ask of you. So recently I did a community poll asking whether people would be all right if I did a subscriber goal. And 92% of people said, yeah, that's all right. So what I'm asking is that if you want to, please do subscribe. It feels weird saying that because I've Never really done that before, but ultimately, the channel is in a bit of a rut. And if I eventually want to be able to make YouTube videos for some kind of living, which would be amazing, I need to grow a lot more so I actually have a bigger subscriber base so I can get more views and a more steady income that's more. I can't get away from the fact that what I earn currently wouldn't be enough to live off. So please do subscribe if you enjoy this and all that, and then you can see more. I'm really quite bad at that. I haven't even decided what my sub goal number should be. I'll develop that over time. I'm thinking 50,000 by 2019. And I did some quick maths before and worked out that that would be roughly over 50 subscribers a day. Something which I have achieved in the past and should be possible if the channel sort of undeads itself. So if you would like to subscribe, please do. 
and in the meantime I'll probably develop a better way of asking you to subscribe because at the moment it just feels weird but uh, please do and um, I hope you enjoyed.